Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. My name is Derek Ray and sitting alongside me in the commentary box providing expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on Serie A, the top division here in Italy. It's Sampdoria and they take on Milan. Well Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out, who will affect the game and who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game though. for Sampdoria. Well, the wide midfield players and the fullbacks need to have a good understanding here. If the midfield players tuck in, then the fullbacks need to get forward into the space they vacate, just to give them some attacking width. This is the Milan starting 11. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Teo Hernandez starts with Davide Calabria in the fullback positions. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Olivier Giroud. And they kick off here. Kessie, Teo Hernandez now, Diaz, might it be Olivier Giroud, able to clear the danger at least for now, Giroud able to get a body in the way, well he really is danger personified but in this game Stuart what do you think we might see from him? I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He glides past defenders. He's got that ability to run with the ball into open space. He can pick out a pass. He can wriggle out of tight situations. He's the most creative player on the field today. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, as you can see, it was a fairly simple finish in the end, but you still have to be in the right place, keep your composure and finish it off, and that's exactly what he did. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Colley. Superbly read and executed. Brahim. Oh, moving it nicely. Intercepting it intelligently. Well, play is halted for the time being as the physio goes to work. Alex 
So a drop ball here following the stoppage. Rincon Torsby Caputo This is Quagliarella Showing patience Looking for the equaliser This could level it And it is the equaliser Parity now And who's to say what's going to happen next Well, it's the perfect finish, isn't it? As you can see, you can't place it better than that, can you? So back underway, following the equaliser. Rafael Leao. Kessier has it. I must say, this looks promising. Accurate pass upon accurate pass. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. Just can't get it past the wall. Oh, marvellous save. Great goalkeeping. Well, you have to think they're going to take the lead at some point because they're really looking dangerous at the moment. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Rincon. He could pick out a teammate. Augello. Torsby. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Can he finish? Still a chance. And the keeper flings himself at the ball. Not there to intercept. Calabria, Sandro Tonali, Brahim, Giroud, Diaz, dangerous looking attack, just the clearance that was called for, well the electronic board showing one additional minute, Alex Ferrari, now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, they weren't at their best, but with that equaliser, you can see why he's so important to this team. Hopefully they can get more of the ball to him in the second half so he can show us his ability. Must take the lead here. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Brahim. 
Tonali with it. Olivier Giroud. And there to intervene. Foul there. Free kick awarded. But he dealt with that ball played in rather well. This might be ideal for the counter. Calabria. Tomori. Well, Milan are controlling the possession, as you can see. But in terms of creating chances, they've been well below their normal standards. Unless that changes quickly, it's going to be a really frustrating day for them. Just couldn't keep the ball. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. And the substitution will occur now. Brahim Giroud very comfortable when in possession Our possibilities inside the box Diaz Giroud can he finish? well the post got in the way Kandreva Bartosz Bereshinski Rincon, now Ferrari. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Brahim. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Substitution then, let's see how it affects the match. Accepting it intelligently. Fifteen minutes left for play. And giving the ball to the opposition that time. Opportunity to deliver the cross. And he cuts inside. Splendid defending. A bit sloppy in possession. And given the situation, a goal at this stage might well turn out to be a winner. Well, flinging himself at the ball. What can they do from this corner? The minutes ticking away in this game. Going short. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Gianluca Caprari. Morton Torsby. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Can they pull it away? 
Oh, nothing untoward happened. Well, the atmosphere is so tense inside this stadium, but can they find that moment of magic to win this game? The crowd certainly thinks so. Just listen to them. Wonderful challenge and a throw-in coming up. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. A chance to... Stefano Sensi. Oh, he's gone for goal! And it was straight at the keeper, but technically good goalkeeping. And there's the whistle. They can't be separated after 90 minutes.